Lewis structure of SCl2 or sulfur dichloride. We got one sulfur bonded to two chlorines. Sulfur is in group 16, so it brings six valence electrons. Chlorine is in group 17, so it brings seven valence electrons each. That is six and two sevens, since we have two chlorines. That makes for 20 electrons total in this structure. I'm going to draw my sulfur in the center, my two chlorines on the outside, and I'm also going to single bond them all together because if they weren't bonded together, it wouldn't be a molecule. Okay, now I'm going to complete the octet on my outer atoms. This is always what I do for molecular compounds made of only non-metals. So, I already have one, two, three, four electrons written down here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now I put dots until I had eight electrons around this chlorine. I already had two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, get it? And this chlorine had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The octets on my chlorine are uh, complete. But I only used up 16 electrons and I need 20 total. I take my extras and I just dump them on my center atom. Uh, 17, 18, 19, 20. Cool. Now, actually, the octet on my sulfur is also complete. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 electrons around that sulfur, and I'm done. Octet rule is satisfied for all of the atoms. I've got them bonded together. I've got the right number of valence electrons. This is it. There's your Lewis structure. If you're looking for extra information about this, the Vesper notation is AX2E2 because you have two atoms bonded to the sulfur and two lone pairs on the sulfur as well. That gives it a either V-shaped or nonlinear or bent shape. If you're looking for bond angles, different teachers use different variations of these. I think there's an official way to do it, but hey, I'm here to give you what your teacher wants. And that means the bond angle itself is probably close to 107 degrees, slightly less than 109 like it would be in a tetrahedron. Cool. Well, thanks for being with me and best of luck.